And with the lawsuit involving the superintendent of El Paso's largest school district, one El Paso ISD board trustee says Superintendent Juan Cabrera is refuting claims he cheated investors out of millions of dollars. Cabrera is being sued in a California state court along with former APISD board president Dory Fennenbach. The El Paso Independent School District is not involved in the lawsuit. ABC 7's Shelby Montgomery is live with a look at what the board plans to do going forward. Shelby? Eric Stessa, will this 20-page lawsuit accuses Juan Cabrera and Dory Fennenbach of fraud, breach of fiduciary duty, negligent misrepresentation, unjust enrichment, and several other allegations. EPISD board member Fred Frederick Lael Avalos is calling for an internal investigation of all the allegations. We need to get to the bottom of this. The allegations detailed in this 20-page lawsuit state Cabrera and Fennenbach approached two investors in 2018 about opening a for-profit online school called eSchool. The investors reportedly gave Cabrera and Fennenbach $5 million with the understanding Cabrera would resign as superintendent due to his credentials and, quote, expertise as an education administrator, according to the suit. In regards to the ownership of the company with Dory Fennenbach, he claims he has no ownership. He states that he has not been uh, paid in any capacity, that he was simply consulting Dory Fennenbach as a friend. According to the lawsuit, Cabrera and Fennenbach later demanded one of the investors resign from the board, to which the investor refused. That's when Cabrera and Fennenbach are accused of stopping all communication with the investors and removing them as shareholders. Cabrera and Fennenbach allegedly refused to return the $5 million investment or say how the money was spent. If any of the league allegations were to be proven as true, it would require a majority of board action to ask for a resignation. Frederick Lyell Avalo says they will call a special board meeting next week with the board attorney and an internal auditor. Frederick Lyell Avalos also says the superintendent is expected to make a statement soon. Live in East El Paso, Shelby Montgomery, ABC 7.